Workout of the day. Today's workout of the day is a classic benchmark workout, Tabata This. How Tabata This works though is your score is the lowest score of your eight intervals for each of the five movements that we're going to be doing today. So the best way to do that is when you start a new movement, first round, 20 seconds. Three, two, one, go. You work as hard as you can for 20 seconds. At the end of that 20 seconds, you have a 10 second rest. You'll write down your score. Let's say it was eight. Then in round two, you get nine. You don't change your score because it's your lowest score that is your score for that movement. Then the next round, you get seven. That is now your new score. You write down seven. Then you get eight, seven, seven, eight, seven, eight, eight. All right, your score is seven because that was your lowest score of all of the eight rounds. So you'll only have one score for all of the five different movements that we're doing today. Movements. First movement today is calories on the rower. For the calories on the rower, you need to reset your screen between each of your intervals by pressing menu, just row, so it starts from zero, because remember, it's your lowest score that counts each time. You can have the damper settings set up to whatever you wish. Uh, I would suggest between six and seven, and I would keep my feet strapped in for the duration of the eight intervals. If you don't have a rower, but you do have a different form of cardio equipment, like a, a salt bike, a ski erg, or a bike erg, then use that for calories. If you don't have any equipment, we're gonna do a shuttle run. With a shuttle run, we start completely behind the line, we run all the way up, touch our foot on or over the line, and always run in a straight line. If you don't have 10 meters available to you, then use five meters. But if you're using five meters, up and back equals one rep. The next movement is an air squat. With an air squat, our feet start at shoulder width apart, keeping your feet flat on the floor. We send our hips back, hip crease comes below the knee, stand all the way back up to full extension at the knees, hips with the shoulders over the top of the heels. Notice how when I squat, I send my hips back and drive my knees out, all the way down so the thighs are passed parallel and stand all the way back up to full extension. The next movement is a pull up. Now if you don't have something to do a pulling movement off yet, get creative and get something. All right, really important we keep those biceps and back uh, nice and well, we keep them moving because they're a perishable skill and then when you come back to doing something they're one going to be a lot harder and two uh, you're going to lose all that pulling strength and we're going to have a lot of pushing strength so we're going to get those dissimilarities between the front and the rear so get something to do a pulling movement off now obviously if you have a pull-up bar then we can do pull-ups can be the strict movement you can keep if you have a pull-up bar that's going to allow you to keep as long as we start with the elbows locked out we pull all the way up so the chin clearly passes the bar lock the elbows out between each rep now i'm going to do a lying heave off a barbell in a j hook here today but this could be anything this could be a piece of dowel strapped between two trees it could be a piece of metal piping resting on two chairs and you've tied them up. Anything to be able to do a lying heave or a body weight row. So with that one, we lock the elbows out, straight line in the body. We pull all the way up so the chest touches, lower all the way back down so the elbows are locked out. Next one I'm gonna do is like a ring row. Now this can be a piece of rope, thread some PVC piping through it, tie it so it's a little triangle handle which would replace the circle ring and we can do the rows from that straight line in the body pull all the way up lower the elbows lock out between each rep the next movement is a push-up with a push-up straight line or hollowed position throughout the body chest must touch the floor press all the way back out to full extension if you can't do them from the toes we can do them from a height so again, you can use a chair, you can use whatever you want. You can use your body weight row that you've already done. Place your hands on the height, lower down so the chest touches the height, press all the way back out to full extension. If you don't have a height to work from, you can go from the knees. Then the final movement is a sit-up. Today we're gonna to be doing a butterfly sit-up. So with a butterfly sit-up, we're gonna place the base of our feet together. We're gonna to have our knees splayed out. 
We're going to keep our arms resting on top of our body here. From there, we're going to sit up. So our shoulders finish over our hips. All right, so you must finish shoulders over your hips. Doesn't matter where your hands go, but as long as your shoulders finish over the hips. A really good way to judge that is, if you wanted to pause there, you could just pause there because you're sitting up straight. If you're back here and I wanted you to pause here, you couldn't last that long. So again, shoulder blades touch the floor at the back, come all the way up, sitting with your shoulders over the top of your hips. If you can't get all the way up, then a couple of things we can do. We can use our arms for a little bit of momentum. So we throw our arms forward into it, or we just come up as tall as we can, split second pause. So for example, I come up, pause, and then back down. Up, pause, and then back down. They are today's movements for Tabata This.